My name is Richard Curtis and I work for Adobe. I'm a solutions consultant around digital imaging. Today, I'm excited to show you a couple of new features inside Photoshop for Creative Cloud. And I'm also lucky enough to be showing you that on a brand new Cintiq from Wacom 22 inch high definition touchscreen tablet. So I'm going to show you today a couple of new features inside Photoshop for Creative Cloud. And those features are going to be image upsampling as well as image smart sharpening. And we've made some enhancements to both of those tools uh, and I'm going to show you those today. I'm able to tap on the screen and bring up my dock. Then I can open Photoshop. Okay, once inside Photoshop, I'm going to launch MiniBridge and we're going to go to an image around image upsampling. Let's take this image here that I shot in Iceland a few months ago. By using the Cintiq, especially with touch, I'm able to grab the screen and resize my image very quickly by dragging the canvas. Let's look at the image size. This image is quite small. It's only 499 pixels wide by 750 high. Now sometimes we need to make the size of the image bigger. Previously, we would resample using Bicubic Smoother. Let's take Bicubic Smoother now and let's change the image size up sample to be percentage based and let's make the width 300. I'm just going to bring up the on-screen keyboard. Again, I can use touch to navigate and pull my panels around. So type in 300. If I navigate the 100% view inside the image size, you can see it's done the up sample for me, but it's not quite sharp. Let's look at the cross here. You can see it's a little bit blurred. Let's just take this now and apply the new feature called Preserve Details. And you can see straight away that the image has retained a lot of its sharpness. So you can see there, there's not a lot of edge holoing. You can see the image zooms up on the screen and you can see straight away, if I move the image around just using two fingers on the tablet, you can see that I've preserved quite a lot of detail. And I actually now have an image that I can use 300% bigger than the original image. I'd like to show you now Smart Sharpen. Let's take this image here. So I'm going to open the image into Photoshop from Camera Raw. And I'm just going to zoom in straight away into her eyes. Now you can see they're a little bit soft. So I actually want to try and sharpen them. So I'm going to use Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. And again, I can move the panel out the way by grabbing it. So first thing I'm going to do is look at the old way that Smart Sharpen would work. In the little cog, you have something called Use Legacy. And Use Legacy will use the algorithms that was inside Photoshop CS6. And we're going to try and increase the amount 300%. You can see there's quite a lot of edge haloing, especially around her eyes. There's also a lot of grain being introduced into the background on the Sharpen. Let's turn off the legacy. You can see straight away that the noise has drastically been reduced. I'm able to also keep pushing the amount higher and higher and still not really causing much haloing around her eyes. I can also reduce the amount of noise with the reduced noise slider. So if we press OK now and move the picture around, you can see I've got a really nice sharp image without any noise or any color noise in the background. So I'd like to show you another image that we can use for Smart Sharpen. So let's bring up this image here and I'm going to use the Cintiq and I use my hand gestures to zoom into the picture and move the picture around so I can really work on 
this area of the scene with the, with the hikers. Got to open up the filter for smart sharpening. So filter, sharpen, smart sharpen. And the smart sharpen dialog is actually using the legacy. So you can see here, when I introduce the sharpening, let's put the sharpening up to about, say, 300%. you can see that there's quite a lot of colour noise now being introduced into the scene. If I turn off Legacy, you can see straight away that the amount of noise in the image as part of the sharpen has drastically been reduced. Pretty amazing. So it means now I can work on my radius and sharpen a little bit more and really get the best out of sharpening inside Photoshop. I can also re reduce or increase the amount of noise depending on how much has been introduced as part of the Smart Sharpen routine. And hopefully you'll be able to use Smart Sharpening on some of your pictures to make them look even better. Thank you very much.